hi my lovely viewers thank you for coming back to watch my channel again i'm so humbled uh thank you for subscribing too if you are not on this channel so you're most welcome this is the right place to be meet the luck mom here deborah and Choka is my name i created this channel to give my viewers hope and encourage you to be optimistic no situation is permanent once you choose to work with god everything is possible so feel most welcome let's share this journey of hope together in case you have not subscribed consider to subscribe so today's sharing is about uh, uh, who protects the poor's rights that is our sharing but before that i want us to pray Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life that you going to do our sharing. Help us so that it can have a great impact on our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and we live. Amen. Who protects the poor's rights is our question. In It's a topic in form of a question. And this is a question most of us, we ask ourselves when we find that uh, we are in a situation that is compromising, a situation that makes us feel weak. And now we think that maybe God has forgotten us. So this is the topic I want us to share with you. And the key verse is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 23, uh, 22 to 23. Uh, my good news version records. <clears throat> Don't take advantage of the poor just because you can. Don't take uh, advantage of those who stand helpless in court. The Lord will argue their case for them and threaten the life of anyone who threatens theirs. Amen. When I was going <coughs> through this verse, I realized that God protects the poor's rights very well. Uh, in case you, 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 you are in power, don't take advantage of those people because they have their protector with God. So through this, uh, by the end of this sharing, you will find that you fall in one of the categories that I'm going to share with you. This is a discussion. Uh, in case maybe you might find you've been sick or you have a sick patient mm -hmm. and in, you've been spending uh, all that you, you've saved and maybe you are, maybe there's no change. And now you've lost hope. You have reached that point that you ask God questions. Why me, God? Why is this happening to me? I don't have any savings. I've used everything. And even my 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 patient maybe died. What is going on? That is your darkest moment that you feel that you need help. I want to encourage you that uh, look at the story of Job. He lost everything. But finally, God recovered everything again afresh to him. So I want you to stick to God, trust in God that your situation is going to change. God is working on your situation. You are in prison, maybe you, you were accused falsely for something you never did, yeah? Uh, and maybe you get this message, uh, I'm talking to you. I want to encourage you that don't lose hope. The same thing happened to Joseph, Potiphar's wife accused Joseph uh, wanting to rape her and Joseph was finally taken to jail he was prisoned but God guarded him throughout the prison and finally he came out and he was made the prime minister so don't lose hope even in that prison where you are just continue praying and don't lose hope God is working on your situation my brother God is working on your situation my sister you are a widow, you've lost your husband, yes, and now you are in-laws, they don't want to see you in that compound anymore. Because they say maybe you have girls and they don't value uh, girls' children as kids, or maybe you have mm -hmm. none. I want to encourage you that don't lose hope, trust in the Lord. In the parable of the judge and the widow, the widow finally got justice got justice so don't be discouraged my sister god is working on your situation <laughs> maybe you you are a young married couple yes but you have nothing your brothers maybe your sisters or your parents they are rich and they control you you don't have you have no right to make any decision because you depend on them 
I want to encourage you that this one is not permanent. The situation is not permanent. You are not going to depend on them forever. God is working on your situation and you are going to to be in a situation that you will never believe. Just a trust in the Lord and follow his commands. He will surprise you with his blessings one day. Maybe you lost a job or you don't have a job and now the creditors are on your neck. My friend, wherever you are, I don't want you to get discouraged. In the book of the Second Kings 4, verse 1 to 7, the widow and oil. God enabled that widow to pay her debts. She retained her sons from being sold to slavery and, uh, and as if that is not enough, he made, he made the widow to have a permanent business that was going to sustain her and her, her kids. That means that God is going to find a permanent solution for your situation at the moment. Never lose hope. My brother, never lose hope. My sister, all shall be well. God is going to, to make a way for you to clear your debts and uh, give you a permanent solution on your current situation. <laughs> you are a gentleman. Your in-laws have rejected that uh, you can't marry their daughter because maybe you are not rich as they expected. Now you are depressed maybe. Your last destination maybe as we are speaking right now is you are in the hospital bed. Simply because of stress you have been depressed. My friend, I want to encourage you one thing. God is working on your situation. You need to know the story of Jacob. Jacob was just a slave. He fell in love with the rich man's daughter, Laban. Uh, but uh, he, he was patient. He waited for 14 good years and finally he was able to marry the love of his life. So God is working on your situation. Don't lose hope, my brother. Yeah, even a lady. Maybe you've been rejected by your in-laws, maybe mother-in-law, father-in-laws, simply because of your background. They feel that you are too poor and you are coming to suck their son's money. Now they have rejected you. Now you are there. You want to commit suicide because you've been left. Oh, come on, my sister. Don't lose hope. God has a perfect plan for you. You need to go to and see Ruth. Ruth her husband just died. She she didn't have any hope of getting married in future, but God made a way for Ruth. She was finally married by Paul, the richest man in Judah. God did not leave her, his blessings there. He even made her to be the granddaughter, or, or to be the grandmother of King David, the famous David that we know. So don't lose hope your time is coming just be patient give god time my sister there's nothing bad by giving god time so what i'm saying that is that we we are we are not supposed to lose hope we need to trust in god if you feel that uh, maybe you don't have a child, I know you've been neglected by the, even your family members. I want to tell you that there's somebody who protects your rights, and that is God. The God of Sarah, the God of Hannah, He's going to answer your prayer. And you'll be very happy because uh, your prayer will, that will be answered. Yeah, the rich may not help you, the rich may mistreat you, yes. But remember that whoever threatens your life threatens your life, God will threaten their life too because you are a child of God. And if you feel that you are poor, I want you to feel warmth in your heart that God loves you and He will take good care of you no matter what. He will protect your rights because you are His child. May God bless you so much. If you like this video, thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel for more sharing. We need to share this journey of hope together. You can like it, you can comment, you can share. May God bless you so much. See you next time. 
Bye.